when we sit down to watch a movie, we're pretty locked into the version that the filmmakers have decided to make, more of the studios. But there are films that were tweaked and altered for other countries around the world. Whether it was a language barrier or a cultural thing, these animators went above and beyond and altered things for other cultures around the world. If you enjoyed this video, check out the companion piece titled Video Game Characters That Look Different in Other Regions on The Gamer. Before we get started, be sure to click on that subscribe button for more great content from Screen Rant every single day, right on your homepage. Can you guess the film based off of these emoji? Stay tuned for the answer. These are my kind of people. Inside Out. Inside Out was an immensely successful and beloved film by Pixar, an original concept that seemed to come out of nowhere. Set in the mind of a young girl, we get to see how her emotions interact inside her head and what happens when they don't work seamlessly together. Unsurprisingly, though, is that the film made a few changes for international audiences. One was specifically for the Japanese. When Riley is a baby, her father feeds her broccoli in every country around the world, except for Japan, where she is instead fed green peppers. This was done because bell peppers are considered even more disgusting there compared to broccoli. Roger that. Planes. While nowhere near as successful or as beloved as its sister franchise Cars, the team that worked on Planes at least tried to make a few changes to appeal more to the international audiences who might be watching their film. In the film, the character Rochelle is generally depicted as Canadian in the North American release, but her nationality and paint job was changed for 11 other regions around the world. She even gets new names in certain regions, such as Carolina in Brazil and Tanya in Russia. She ended up staying as Rochelle in Australia and New Zealand, though, despite losing her Canadian identity from the original cut. Monsters University Despite being the most common and one of the most accessible languages on the planet, not everyone speaks or understands English, contrary to what others might think. That may have been a problem for some films, but the team who worked on Monsters University saw this as an opportunity to flex their animation muscles. In the film, a set of cupcakes spell out Be My Pal in the English version, but that phrase, which eventually turns into a joke when the cupcakes spell out the word lame on Randall's eyes, wouldn't work in a country that doesn't speak English, so they were changed to happy faces. No clever joke this time, but no confusion either. What do you call a three-humped camel? I don't know what do you call a three-humped camel. Zootopia. When it comes to altering scenes for the rest of the world, Zootopia probably picks up the prize. It's one thing to alter a scene here and there for the rest of the world or one specific country, but what about a whole bunch of different countries? In the film, a new story breaks out, but depending on which country you saw the film in, this scene will look a little bit different. The animal anchors depict the best-known animals from certain countries, such as a moose in Canada, a koala in Australia, a jaguar in Brazil, and a panda in China. Talk about going above and beyond. How could you not know this? Yeah, uh, I am a figment of your imagination. You did not know, how could I? Ratatouille. It's quite often the little details that go unnoticed until someone on the internet points them out for the masses. Case in point, a cool little scene in the beloved Brad Bird film Ratatouille. The film is set entirely in France, but all the characters speak English in the original version. But they also write in English, which isn't handy for those living in France. So what did Pixar do? Well, they redid a scene with Remy reading a letter, of course. The French version of the film was redone so the letter reads in their native tongue and not the original English text. <laughs> <laughs> As mentioned before, the English language is one of the biggest barriers for international audiences. It's even harder for those countries that don't even use a Latin alphabet, such as Russia or Japan. But Pixar is extremely aware of this and actively implements small changes into their films to accommodate non-English speaking fans. Case in point, a small jar in Up that reads Paradise Falls. The jar was used to save up funds for a trip to the falls, but if you can't read English, you wouldn't get it. So the animators at Pixar swapped out the word and gave audiences a hand-drawn picture of the falls to convey the message. <laughs> Wreck-It Ralph. Ralph Breaks the Internet is just around the corner, and we're incredibly excited for it. We have to wonder if that film will change certain moments for audiences around the world. 
After all, it is dealing with the internet culture and that's going to vary from country to country. One thing that was changed in the first film though was the Sugar Rush character, Minty Zaki. Named after the legendary filmmaker Hayao Miyazaki, she was altered completely for reasons unknown in the Japanese release of the film. Instead, she's now a fair-skinned, green-haired, kimono-sporting girl named Minty Sakura. It's a blink and you'll miss it moment, but one has to wonder why it was done. It's too fast! How could you even tell what's on? I can tell. Toy Story 2 most of the films on this list are fairly recent, which demonstrates that the act of altering one's movie for international audiences is a relatively new thing when it comes to animated films. But despite that, Toy Story 2 was changing the game way before the rest of them. After Woody goes missing, Buzz gives an inspiring speech to the rest of the other toys to help him find their friend. In the United States, this speech is given with the American Star Spangled Banner in the background, accompanied by the national anthem. Internationally, it's a globe set to one world anthem. Don't worry, Smoothie. Squishy. Squishy. We're not going to lose because we have everything we need to win right here. Monsters University. Many studios would not even bother making any alterations to their scenes at the cost of alienating some fans. Thankfully, Pixar is on point when it came to a giant verbal sign in Monsters University. In the film, students at the university compete in scare games, complete with a giant spray-painted decal on the wall of the arena. But that would mean nothing to foreign audiences, so the animators decide to completely remove the words and replace them with the university's crest. It's these small steps that really make the film better for everybody. Inside Out as mentioned earlier, Inside Out is one of those films that made a few changes to their movie. Changing a vegetable is one thing. It's a simple matter of replacing the objects in the scene. But how about replacing a whole entire set of animations for a brief scene? As Riley's dad daydreams at one point in the film, we see him fantasizing about a hockey game. But hockey isn't as popular in other countries around the world as it is in the States and Canada. So the animators changed this entire scene to be a soccer match, which is considered to be the world sport. Now that's dedication. Well, that's it for today. Have you noticed an international change to an animated movie before? Do you think this is a practice that other studios should adopt? Do you think that one day we'll have completely different looking versions of films in different countries? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to get more videos just like this in your playlist every day. Thanks for watching. For more awesome videos about things that are different around the world, check out what's happening over at The Richest, The Taco, and The Things, who all worked up something super duper special just for you guys. And the answer to our emoji question is, have a good one.